they saw the same offense that they, they've seen before. Otherwise, what I would say is people see the product, they don't understand the process. They see football as a game, hey, run that play again, and again, let's gain 20 yards. Running backs have to break break uh, tackles at times. They have to be able to run through the smoke. When there is something, you have to be able to block the point of attack. There are things that have changed. Uh, but football is a game of uh, repetition, like I keep saying. Uh, you know, you're not going to just say, hey, let's run that play. Nobody else has ever run that before. I don't think that exists in this sport. I think uh, to believe that or people are a little bit naive. You know, this is, as I said earlier, this is about hard work and execution. You know, in terms of, you know, you've got to make, you know, not holding, holding our coaches accountable as well in this. It's about play selection and play call, play selection. Um, and we need to do a better job in that as well. So I'm not shying away from that responsibility. But um, at the end of the day, there's only so many ways to skin a cat. At the end of the day, you better skin the cat. Here's another good quote for you. I'm gonna ask real quick to write that down. <laughs> Elijah Collins, did you see a little bit more spark from him? I like Elijah first, I thought he ran well. I thought Elijah ran well. This guy can get more touches. I know you don't talk about injuries, but Anthony Williams, I assume. Anthony will be able to play for us, you got but he's, uh, uh, you know, I don't know how the term I use is nicked up. You know, he needs to get himself squared away. He may be able to be able this weekend. He may not be. It just depends on how his week goes. Mark, you just mentioned Collins, but you also had Russ Nelson go out there and make a couple plays. Uh, Nam is out there. Do you look to get some of those speedier guys out there more touches? You mentioned rough running. You weren't thrilled with that either. But do you look well, to mix that up? Play more guys, give, up, give everybody opportunities. That's good. Enjoyed this one. I'm sure everybody did. Yes, Jim. Uh, the running backs, are they doing a good job of running to where the play is blocked? That's something that's still in progress. They were young running backs. At times, at times it looks like uh, they're in flow, but other times, uh, you know, they were caused the problem as well. So it's it's all inclusive. No one guy gets it done. No one guy not, does not get it done. It's all inclusive. You know, the bottom line is we need to get it done. You know, I was very impressed with their crowd on the, on Saturday night, and, um, and also very impressed with uh, with the enthusiasm of the crowds. So this should be a great game day atmosphere this next week. I also think, without walk before I walk out of here, all irritated. You know, I think our defense played outstanding. Uh, a lot of takeaways. Very difficult to run the ball on. Very difficult to pass the ball on, and really covered all the bases. You look at it, we had nine free and outs. We had seven sacks, took the ball away from, from them three times, blocked another punt, had a safety in addition to that, scored a touchdown. Um, all you could ask. And so uh, they played outstanding. So we got the tails of two halves. Uh, and uh, as they told our football team you know, yesterday, you got the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the ugly was, was the penalties. And we talked about penalties over and over and over again. Some of them are, on, are forced penalties, a PI or something like that. Sometimes a holding call, uh, and some of them are unforced. We got to limit the unforced penalties, the offsides, the jumping offsides, those type of things. And we had too many of those that put us immediately in situations. There were some good things on offense. We had an 18 play drive, and we got to finish. We're in the red zone two times on a fourth and one. We got to get the one yard, like I said. To get the one yard, you go in to score a touchdown. That game's probably 42 to nothing or 42 to seven. Okay, the way it feels a little happier. Okay, but it is what it is. And this is a result-oriented business. I understand that, so we have to make sure that we're pushing forward like in that endeavor. And I got to send a message, okay? And um, sometimes I get a little irritable before I walk into these press conferences, so I take it with me. Sometimes I get irritable walking out. Okay. I take that with me too. But, um, we're gonna get it right. Mark, um, you, you left tackle, obviously, Kevin had his first starter, how did you grade out for that? And can you kind of go into the philosophy of, of maintaining your two tackles, him and Jordan, versus switching the guys in the interior? Well, I think Kevin is an extremely strong, uh, physical type of guy. I thought he played okay. I thought he played okay for the first time out there at tackle. Uh, he had two holding calls that sort of negates his play. Um, I, I saw a lot of holding calls, to be quite honest with you, across the nation. Uh, this past week, and, and and also I would I guess I would add that uh, we're one and zero, and there are a lot of people out there that are zero and one, 
a lot of people wish that they could have played poorly a little bit and still won. So that's the message as well. We won the football game and we won the football game decidedly, I felt. Um, but, you know, you're, you're chasing perfection and you're always trying to get better. So that's what we have to do. But I think that, you know, you got to be solid at the offensive tackle. And, uh, you know, he gave us that opportunity to do that, uh, you know, with AJ out at the time and Cole out at the time. That was the best case scenario. And he'd been working there for, you know, 10 days or so. Marco, a win this weekend, you were tied to the school record for victories. I'm wondering if you're able to sort of appreciate the, the road you've taken to get this point and, and what that milestone would be. Well, yeah, I've taken the road less travel time. Uh, okay. Uh, no, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get better. Uh, I've said that, I've talked about that before. I believe that that's a, uh, something that a lot of people have worked to do. And, um, you know, when we get there, we'll get there. Mark, defensively, obviously you kind of know what you're getting from Kenny and Joe and Ray Funk, guys that have produced consistently. But to see the way Jacob Pants played the other day, how important can it be for this defense that now you've got another guy on the other side? Yeah, 